This show is powered by BL3P, the Lightning Enabled European Bitcoin Exchange. Spojte svět dohromady. Christian Krolis, Bitcoin Magazine, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. I prefer to be a journalist over a salesman. No. If you could to turn back time, would you make sure you remain completely anonymous online? Yes. The CEO of Bitcoin Magazine, David Bailey, once said that you can measure how a Bitcoin OG someone is by how much BTC he or she has lost. True. Yes. Do you prefer the paper version over the online version of Bitcoin Magazine? No. I speak more than four languages. No. <laughs> Is it true that at this moment there is a global Bitcoin adoption of 0.01% with around 100 million Bitcoin users? Yes. Bitcoin is more exciting than American football. Absolutely, yes. If Bitcoin didn't exist, I would probably be a Michelin star chef. Yes. I have a wheel ticket for Bitcoin Conference Amsterdam. I'm a slave for Bitcoin Conference Amsterdam. <laughs> Are you Satoshi Nakamoto? No. Welcome to the Connect the World weekly podcast. I'm Edward. And I'm Steph. We are ready to take you with us into the beautiful world of the Lightning Network. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the ride. ride. This is episode 38 of Connect the World. Steph, <laughs> you're in orange hey. today. Yeah, <laughs> my Mac, Max Verstappen shirt. Ah, so, uh, yeah. Red yeah, Bull I, Racing. I, you know, yeah, you, you know why, uh, nice. why I'm wearing this? Because we have no. a, uh, a bit of a special today. Because, yeah, um, yeah, maybe we can, we, we always start with a, with a little small talk and then we announce who the guest <laughs> yeah. is, but now we can maybe turn it around and uh, announce that uh, Christian Corollas is our guest and he is the general yeah. manager of uh, Bitcoin Magazine. And um, yeah, of course, everybody knows that uh, in October there's a Bitcoin Amsterdam uh, held in, in, in Amsterdam, obviously. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe just wear something or a Bitcoin orange, but also um, the Dutch lions, uh, the Dutchies. Our <laughs> well, our flag is is um, uh, or, or red, uh, white, and, and blue, of course. But our uh, yeah, second uh, color is um, is orange because uh, we are the orange lions, of yep. course. So I thought, yeah, well, let's let's wear something orange, man. Um, Great, yeah, I I I to totally missed it, the orange. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No my problem. face is orange. I can make my face orange. Yeah, Just yeah, let's do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but you're but absolutely so, right. It's, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So so um, and and we are proud to announce that we are an official media partner, Edward. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's a so, very, uh, very big thing. Uh, yeah, we're, um, we will cover the whole conference and uh, bring all the uh, um, lighting related news. Uh, so we're really um, uh, thrilled to do that. And also uh, workshop stages, panels, we're going to co cover it all. We'll try to cover it all with our team. And yeah, uh, yeah that's, uh, that's re really great. Yeah. yeah, we combine forces with, uh, with the Stoshi Radio theme, of course, our... Uh, yeah our Dutch based community and uh, the guys and girls from uh, the Daily Moon will also join us. Yeah. So uh, you, Ramon, uh, Jury, uh, Slapy Hoofd and uh, Yvette is, uh, is going professor, to join us. Uh, Yvette, professor. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're yeah, really doing great. a great job. So yeah. yeah. So uh, really it's, looking uh, forward to, uh, to bring you all the, yeah, the, the, the highlighted news from, uh, from the conference uh, guys. Yeah. So, uh, and, we can't um, wait, but we have to do a lot of work uh, still. So, <laughs> but this is just great news. Yeah, this is great really news. Thrilled. And uh, to add something to that great news is that yeah. um, if you um, uh, haven't bought a ticket, you can use our promo code, and then you, then you get a nice discount. And our promo code is uh, CTW Podcast. Um, so you can fill it in at the website, uh, and you can uh, get a nice discount on every ticket you buy. 
yeah. so you use our our uh, promo code CTW podcast. I'm going to put it in the show notes. Uh, also a tweet from uh, the Daily Moon where we uh, announced it. And uh, for more info, uh, information about uh, Bitcoin Amsterdam and Connect the World and our uh, collaboration, uh, check connectworld.live uh, slash Bitcoin. And then uh, how do you Dash say that? Dash Amsterdam. <laughs> Dash Amsterdam. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, so. I I just want things uh, to be a whole world. world but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to talk to Ramon and uh, Eddie. <laughs> hey, so okay. yeah, we announced already um, uh, that we have Christian on the show and um, yeah. yeah, general manager of Bitcoin Magazine. We obviously going to talk about uh, Bitcoin Amsterdam, but also about his vision on on the Lightning Network and and Bitcoin as a whole. So uh, he's always very energetic. So um, nice guest to have on the yeah. show, Edward. I think and. Uh, um, yeah, so that, that's for the second part. Uh, the first part, we have to talk a little bit about statistics of the Lightning Network and, of course, about our Rings of Fire community. So let's do that first, and then the second part will be with Christian Edward. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So last week, we had a little over 38.3 Bitcoin pushed into the Lightning Network, and this week, we added 30, uh, 32 million. Uh, so it's now 38.6 uh, Bitcoin with around 3900 yep. Uh, 35 members participating in over 175 rings so it won't take long until we get to the 20, 200 ring uh, Edward, that, uh, it would be nice to nice hit figure. that uh, 240 bitcoin when we're uh, at the conference of course <laughs> ah, yes, and otherwise yes. we're going to do it there <laughs> yeah um, maybe yeah, that, that would be nice. The Lightning Network, we're now at block height 749,554 uh, and uh, there are 17,080 nodes out there, uh, 45 nodes more than last week. And uh, the network capacity is 4,571 Bitcoin. Yes, and the today's value of 1 million Satoshis is $241.236.1632 euro, Chinese won. Connect the world. And then some highlighted news updates from last week brought to you by the Daily Moon. It was interesting because there was, uh, again, a lot of news. Uh, let's start with Geyser and Setsback because they announced a partnership. Um, that's also something uh, that we uh, really thrilled about because we uh, talked with Geyser, of course, uh, and uh, also with uh, Tom uh, Gojnatski earlier in an earlier episode. Uh, and uh, Satsback, if everybody uh, knows it, it's um, to earn Satoshis while you're shopping online. And uh, Geyser is a crowdfunding platform. And uh, they now uh, have the possibility to automatically uh, fund projects uh, from um, the uh, on the Geyser platform and just out of your uh, sets back account. So spend euros in an online store uh, or uh, dollars and receive uh, two sets back and then send them to your favorite uh, campaign or lightning project on uh, on Geyser. Um, and uh, I'm going to quote Setsback. They're, uh, they're saying, showing how lightning native businesses are interoperable, uh, creating synergies to boost global adoption. And uh, that's um, the most important thing, I think. Um, I'm going to put the tweet in the show notes. And then LB, um, more use cases and more awesome lightning uh, apps uh, like, for example, Stacker News uh, and LM Markets are needed. So it's never wrong to ask for help. And LB offers uh, now developers to help build uh, more Lightning Native apps uh, to be used on the web. So do, if you're a web developer and want to integrate payments or authentication uh, via Lightning, then uh, get in touch with them and uh, get busy building the future. And then uh, LaunchCard uh, is a Shopify competitor and uh, they announced that they will be accepting Bitcoin and Lightning in partnership with Open Notes. So a lot of uh, shops out there uh, are going to uh, be able to use it. And then uh, Vinteum, I hope I pronounce it right. Uh, Vinteum is a new startup and nonprofit uh, Bitcoin and Lightning research and development center uh, founded by uh, Lucas uh, Ferreira from Lightning Labs and Andre Neves, uh, co-founder and CTO at Zebedee. Uh, and they're dedicated to supporting uh, Bitcoin and Lightning developers uh, with grants uh, um, or seminars in Brazil and a wider Latin American region. And that's a very important thing. We also talked about that with uh, El Professor from the Li uh, Lightning uh, community um, uh, of Latin American and Spanish uh, talking uh, region. Latinodos. Latinodos, yeah. 
And um, it's very important to, um, to support that. And then um, there uh, was something else, an update, because in up episode 28, we mentioned about Rings of Fire uh, member uh, Franco. Uh, I'm just going to call him Franco because <laughs> the surname is very difficult. <laughs> uh, and he had an idea to help with uh, discouraging uh, routing right before the moment of mm. uh, circular rebalance. And um, Jury made a couple of uh, updates to Ring Tools then uh, to the bots and added the min HDLC and max HDLC in the channel policy uh, overview. Um, because uh, if you are able to set those uh, variables, then you can discourage uh, routing. Um, and I think uh, it was Franco, but um, there was a PR uh, a pull request we made uh, at uh, Ride the Lightning GitHub. And it got, uh, after two months, I, I think it got <laughs> implemented. Uh, so there is an update for Ride the Lightning they uh, added also liquidity ads, very interesting. Um, and um, uh, yeah, the available ads on the network, you can uh, check them uh, on the menu. Uh, research notes um, on public explorers, and you can buy channels also from uh, the ads and uh, publish your own ad on the network. So that's a great thing. Yeah, nice. check it and out in the show notes. Nice, yeah. nice. And do you want to read more <laughs> and stay up to date about everything related to the Lightning Network, the news, updates, then head over to tdm.news and follow the Daily Moon on Twitter or Telegram, so you won't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> Connecté le monde. So let's have a look at the rings forecast. We only um, finished one ring, so we uh, couldn't balance, that, uh, ring. balance it because um, there was some routing, uh, but it doesn't matter. And we also experienced a lot of tour issues uh, these days. So, yeah, yeah it, uh, it's uh, a bit of hard days we, uh, we have uh, now. Um, but we finished one. Uh, it was a nice collaboration between Holland and Canada. Um, the 5 million Satoshi is 25th uh, ring, Edward. So um, that's nice. the only thing we yeah. finished, but a uh, nice ring, nice um, uh, total of Satoshis, I guess, uh, I, I think. And um, we are busy with... Uh, Trying to balance on a couple of uh, of new ones, so um, maybe next week we will, um, yeah, announce that we uh, finish uh, balanced uh, a couple uh, yeah. of rings. Well, twenty fifth and uh, five million satoshis with six persons in in the ring, that's and correct. then all those twenty five rings. Well, that's uh, a lot of staggering a lot of Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Steph, again, and uh, let's Thank go you. to the lightning notes. Yeah, let's do that. Hilknet, well. Make sure to secure your home network. So change default passwords and use two-factor authentication where possible and keep your software up to date. It's also very important. Uh, please keep in mind that the whole Lightning network is very experimental. Uh, software like uh, MyNode, Umbrel, Resi, Blitz, for example, and many others, and LND also, uh, are still in beta phase. Uh, don't blindly run terminal commands on your node if you don't understand uh, them yourself, and especially when prefixed with sudo. Uh, and the last one is also very important. Don't use uh, Satoshis that you're not willing to lose. So if you're not aware uh, of all security considerations, then read into it. Educate yourself, read articles, uh, ask for help in Telegram groups so, uh, with high reputation like ours, and uh, listen to podcasts and learn by doing. Otherwise, don't participate. Also, uh, you can stay uh, informed by uh, following us on Twitter. You can find us at uh, Satoshi Radio ROF and follow our lightning leader, uh, Johnny Kiyashu. Join our Telegram groups, Satoshi Radio, Ring of Fire, and Connect the World and check our website, satoshi.radio. It would be nice for you uh, to be part of our uh, Emboss community. You can find us there on uh, Satoshi Radio and like and subscribe uh, to our uh, YouTube channel. Use Podcasting 2.0 to listen to Connect the World and you can uh, check uh, Sat Trading for the current value. Uh, you can find all this information, of course, also in the show notes as well. All right, let's get on to the show. Connecti il mondo. <laughs> We're excited to have you on our show, um, well, uh, Christian. 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 Yeah, great to meet you here. <laughs> yeah, nice to be here. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, Edward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First You're of welcome. all, um, congrats on, on Bitcoin Amsterdam. Uh, it's it's in my yeah. backyard. I live like twenty minutes from uh, from the Westergasfabriek, the venue where uh, where you guys organize it. And uh, and the news came in, and uh, with the artwork and uh, the Rembrandt and uh, with the Westergas, it, it's just a great venue. I've been there a lot of times, and uh, also for uh, conferences and exhibitions. 
it really is mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, it that's will awesome. Be, it's beautiful there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've I've never been still. Uh, I'm only gonna go when we uh, actually put on the event. But yeah, we're working with a, a fantastic Dutch based team to put on mm -hmm. the event, uh, yeah. and uh, they're very excited about the the venue. Yeah, 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 the venue is great. Yeah, I, I normally visit the uh, Awakenings, which is a uh, techno music uh, a festival over there. And the ac acoustic is, is great, man. And the venue, it's like a big silo. And yeah, it really is very, um, yeah, I would say very inspiring, I would say. So uh, yeah, I it, think it wasn't built for this. And that makes it uh, a place where uh, you, uh, normally normal people won't go. Uh, so it's very industrial. And uh, with the shape it has, it's... Uh, it, it 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 fits Bitcoin and the Moon, right? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, that's absolutely space exploration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for I was sure. gonna say, imagine uh, imagine the Western House, but Bitcoin everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just yeah. But because <laughs> of the, middle because of, of the uh, it's, it has the shape of the Moon, Edward. I, I didn't think about <laughs> yeah, it uh, really that had. way uh, before. So yeah. And man. I live in the, in the south, and there you have uh, also a great building. It's also in the shape of a UFO. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but I will share it in a link. It's really a great building in Eindhoven, and it's uh, it's really a, U, a UFO. <laughs> and so, uh, Philips built it. So uh, yeah, ah, uh, Philips. These uh, Dutch uh, Dutch guys and girls are just crazy out of this world <laughs> we gotta put hey, uh, we gotta put Christian. a bitcoin on the ufo yeah so, yeah. so maybe maybe the after party <laughs> will will be organized there edward uh <laughs> I, that will be great and then you uh just go uh, uh round right, hey, ho uh, holler uh, at me after this and we'll uh and we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll work on some after parties yeah <laughs> oh it really is possible <laughs> great hey christian uh, of course we're a lightning oriented uh, podcast and we like to hear you say that you run a lightning node the best there is <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I do. I do. I do run. So I run a a noddle. So I have uh, yeah. my book, my Bitcoin full node, and then I have uh, L and D on there. But yeah, yeah. I have to admit, personally, I'm not a a, a lightning power user. Uh, okay. So I mean, uh, I don't have the most connected node out there. Uh, but it's uh, it's fun to play around. You know, I, I like to block off an hour or two uh, on my Saturdays and and try things out. Uh, I know yeah. Get Mash, uh, who I know that uh, yeah. Jared just came on on the podcast. Uh, they just released. Uh, you can read a whole book and just pay with micro yeah, payments, yeah. which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think Lightning is pivotal for the future uh, and continuing to like scale Bitcoin up uh, in ways that complement it, um, like with Lightning, uh, is Indeed. how we're going to move forward. So uh, it's really fun to uh, to to kind of be so early. Uh, in on this yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's and, absolutely and, right and how yeah, often yeah, do yeah. you make transactions then using the lightning network you know honestly like uh i would say i probably like once a month or something like that um you know whenever i whenever i like like send a birthday gift to a family member or uh some you know whatever it's always bitcoin i'm like tell them to download moon wallet or download blue wallet and then so you know, easy. send me send me a lightning invoice and, and and I'll pay you out and it's uh it's really amazing and you know just giving bitcoin to people via lightning yeah. uh, and yeah. again I just think we're so early um but with things like strike and with other businesses learning that you can use lightning as like yeah. a global payment infrastructure uh that you can tap into uh I just think we're at very very early days yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed yeah yeah but you and never well, paid you never paid at a restaurant or something for your food or, or your beers or so uh here in nashville at bitcoin park uh they have lightning enabled uh you know kind of uh food stalls and stuff like that um at the local uh, area and so i pay I'll, I'll always pay with bitcoin there uh, a lot of times you know if there's an option to buy merchandise from like a bitcoin uh reseller or something like that uh, or like a bitcoin swag uh mm. e-commerce store I'll, I'll pay with with bitcoin uh, if I'm going to make a donation, I'll pay with Bitcoin and Lightning. Uh, but, you know, I, I would say that I'm I'm definitely not like on zero living on Bitcoin using Lightning every day. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that what's being built here is not extremely valuable, too. Um, so definitely a yeah. big hodler, definitely, you know, enthusiasts. I'll play around, uh, like to get people onboarded via Lightning. It's one of the best. So that's kind of where I live. And, 
Yeah, you, because Lightning makes it easy to uh, to onboard. That uh, that really it, oh, is. absolutely, yeah. and so impressive. Yeah. It really is just yeah. like magic. It, it, and you're yeah. like, hey, I it, this is the equivalent of me handing you cash. You know, it's now on yeah. your device. Indeed. Only you. Ha- it's yeah. just really, yeah. and it just happens like you know, it happens like that. It really is like magical. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And are you familiar with the spend double replay strategy when you spend some <laughs> sets using Lightning? Oh, I mean, I think that, you know, spend and replace or spend and double stack, like uh, that's a fantastic strategy. So I'm not opposed. Yeah, no, but I'm, I, I definitely, you know, as soon as I spend, as soon as I send a, a gift, I at least replace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. Because otherwise it can be a pretty damn <laughs> expensive gift. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm so bullish on Bitcoin. I'm not worried. You know, I got my HODL stack. You know, we're 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 having fun spreading mass adoption. So I'm not too worried. I'm not like checking my receipts. I'm just living my life. So <laughs> cool, nice, nice. Hey, and uh, yeah, we have all kinds of questions for you about uh, your vision on the Lightning Network, and of course about Bitcoin Amsterdam uh, this year. Uh, but it has to be in a part that we call the 21 minutes. Uh, so right, uh, yeah, if you guys are ready, I would like to enter that part. Uh, are you ready, Christian and Edward? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, ready. 21 yeah. minutes, let's go. Let's, let's go. Do it. Conecta el mundo. Maybe it's good to uh, first ask, because uh, you told us um, you're the uh, general manager of Bitcoin Magazine. And, and what did you exactly do at Bitcoin Magazine? Yeah, no, I do a lot of operations. Uh, I am on a lot of meetings. Uh, a lot of those meetings have to do with the events that we put on. Uh, if you were to think of events, you know, it, they're pretty much just giant projects that happen once a year each. Uh, yeah. And each of them have like a million different components uh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, tens, if not 20 or 40 different people working on them. So, uh, you know, I make sure meetings have agendas. I make sure people show up to meetings. Uh, I gauge whether we need to hire, you know, different people or where the team's at. Yeah. Uh, I help the team make uh, executive decisions on do we do this? Do we do that? You know, do we package this like that? Um, and then that's on the event and with Bitcoin magazine, uh, you know, I'm really, really thankful that, uh, we have an amazing team there. Uh, we have great, you know, team leaders doing video, doing news, doing articles, doing op-eds. Um, we have an amazing, uh, uh, editor in chief Pete Rizzo. Uh, so it's great to, you know, for that, it's a little bit more hands off. Things are kind of just rolling. It's a machine, but it's awesome to check in. It's awesome to enjoy the content. It's awesome to get feedback. Um, but for a long time, when that was in very early days, you know, very much a part of just making content, just, you know, getting the team built. So, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. De- definitely like business operations type of a role. Uh, but it's easy to do, you know, that kind of laborious business operations <laughs> stuff when it's, for such a fun company like Bitcoin Magazine, such an amazing space like the Bitcoin space, yeah. uh, it really drives you. Yeah. Nice, yeah. And of, of course, we dived also into uh, some content you did uh, earlier, um, and you are also um, uh, making educational podcasts. And w- uh, we understand it in uh, your opinion, um, we're watching Bitcoin monetize in real time, and uh, we're all heading towards a Bitcoin standard within a decade, uh, you told. Uh, everyone and um, one Bitcoin will be worth twenty six million dollars. Of course, we're uh, going to talk about that conservatively, um, of course. Yeah, <laughs> very conservatively. Um, why do you believe it will happen so fast? Because a decade, well, <laughs> we're all gonna live uh, to see that. Then, yeah, well, we, we hope. I could be wrong, but I think it's closer to a decade than it is a century. So I think there's some people who are like, this is going to be, I'm not going to see it for my entire lifetime. I think that, I think we'll for sure see it in our lifetime or Bitcoin will fail. That's, you know, that's on the table as well. Um, Of course. But looking at other exponential technologies, as well as looking at how like kind of older technologies that have been made inferior by newer technologies, none of those things happen slowly. It's all like it's invented, it's monetized. And as soon as, you know, there's a competitive advantage for adopting the new technology it happens like wildfire because yeah, it's a dis- you go obsolete di- without it, you know, without gunpowder, di- your disrupted. country is gone, <laughs> you yeah. know, without, without electricity, your business can't compete without a car and auto, you know, it's just like, 
So I, I just don't think that people understand how much better Bitcoin is as an economic system compared to what we're dealing with today. Yeah. So like th- th- in my mind, like these things cannot compete in the wild together for an extended period of time without like one just absolutely dominating the other. So mm. I honestly think like if the incentives work with Bitcoin, if the game theory works, if it continues to do what it's doing, like there's no way that uh, these two systems will, you know, that the fiat system will survive that long. You know, and if anything, if you actually are paying attention, none of the central bankers know what they're doing. They're actively killing, you know, the all signs show that these systems are unhealthy. You know, uh, the velocity of money is decreasing. Debt is through the roof. No one's lending. Interest rates are going negative. You have wealth taxes in developed countries. Like it, it's all it's like red alarms everywhere. So uh, and at the same time, you know, TikTok next block, you know, Bitcoin's just doing its yeah. thing like a psychopath. Yeah. So like, you know, if you just look at tech adoption, if you look at disruptive technology adoption, if you look at what's happening today, like I just don't see how you can conclude that, hey, you know, the central banks are, are, are going to find a way to make it work for that much longer with Bitcoin doing what it's doing. Yeah, yeah. And, and well, obviously, you are a very strongly believer in hyper Bitcoinization. And we're cu- curious how you define yourself. Do you see yourself as a, big so- a Bitcoin maximalist or are you just being bullish? <laughs> well, so I very much like appreciate the Bitcoin maximalist movement. I think it's very, very useful and it's an excellent form of consumer protection. Uh, and it's really important to differentiate Bitcoin from crypto. Uh, with that being said, I would say that I have a very liberal definition for for Bitcoin. And in fact, I don't even I don't even like the idea of like building on Bitcoin. I think that like it's a lot more useful to say using Bitcoin. And mm-hmm. you can easily if you just re re uh if you talk about using Bitcoin, you you can see that a lot of the crypto infrastructure can use Bitcoin too. Like maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. It's just a thing. And I, again, I, I personally think everything is good for Bitcoin. So that's not like necessarily a bad thing. You know, I think there's like an Udi take where he's like talking about how like these these crypto chains, you know, can use Bitcoin too. And there's a path for Bitcoin adoption there. I'm not like necessarily like opposed to them, although like I, I'm definitely not endorsing any of that. Uh, I just have a very liberal uh, definition of like what using Bitcoin means. And I, you know, I think if you're using Bitcoin as a unit account, that's using Bitcoin. Like if you're denominating something in Bitcoin, that's using Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin is a money. Like we're supposed to think in Bitcoin. So like you can you can use Bitcoin very liberally and that still be part of Bitcoin's network effects, in my opinion. Uh, uh. Well, uh, what we just talked about earlier is also um, what we think uh, the key to adoption um, and success will be the Lightning Network. When we think about what you said earlier um, about the success uh, that Bitcoin will have in the short term, then um, what do you think is Lightning's role in this path of success? I mean, it's it's absolutely vital, at least up until this point. And when you look at Lightning's growth, it's honestly unprecedented. So like, let's just talk about the headwinds that Lightning is up against. (laughs) It launched in 2018. Yeah. There are multiple competing implementations. I mean, I think that that's a good thing, but you know, you could say that, you know, hey, they don't agree that people aren't necessarily aligned. Yeah, that doesn't Um, matter now. It is, I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, There, Bitcoin itself is regulatory wise not good for spending, as in it's taxed in a it's not tax advantage for spending. And Bitcoin, in terms of it's a finite asset in a fiat world, it also doesn't incentivize spending. And despite that, lightning is exploding. Yeah. Uh, and then you go look at okay, could have Bitcoin ha, could Bitcoin be legal tender in El Salvador if lightning didn't exist? I, I think That's unequivocally, no, probably not. Yeah. And that is was a huge step for Bitcoin. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I, I just like when you when you think of like, OK, Lightning has grown so much despite literally all the incentives being against Bitcoin as like this transactional currency. Um, and then the potential, you know, and, and then all of the bandwidth that Lightning gives Bitcoin in terms of a monetary network. 
it, it's it's absolutely vital. Like there is no way we onboard nations without without lightning. And I, likely there's no way we onboard corporations or fintech companies without lightning or something mm-hmm. like it. Like most likely, I'm not an expert here. Most likely it'll be lightning. Maybe it'll be something else. Who knows? Like I'm very convicted it's going to be on the Bitcoin network. Um, but I just don't think that you onboard lightning with the way that the Bitcoin blockchain is. Or sorry, you onboard corporations. Yeah. Uh, you know, that want to use the monetary network with uh, just the Bitcoin blockchain. You need mm-hmm. this channel base. You need this this uh, this peer to peer instant network uh, in order to do that. Um, and it's I just don't think hyper Bitcoinization is possible in the way that uh, it we're seeing it without lightning. Yeah. And you could state that lightning is the technical evolution and Bitcoin the evolution of fiat to sound money. Um, is it possible to have worldwide users of Lightning and still have fiat, do you think? Or is it that this then just a uh, transition phase? Well, people are trying to put fiat on Lightning. Um, <laughs> it's really interesting. It's really interesting to like hear <laughs> Jack Mahler talk about like Bitcoin as like one, there's the, the, the Bitcoin unit. And then two, there's like the Bitcoin monetary network, value communication mm. protocol. Uh, and Lightning is definitely like, as uh, you know and like a uh, building on top of the blockchain it goes from like the broadcast to the you know the direct uh, peer-to-peer messaging um so like those two things as a stack make for a really really powerful monetary network that you can send value denominated in anything on so i mean maybe in the short term there's still use for like maybe like dollars on lightning i really i'm, I'm super bearish on like any sort of like cbdc so i, I don't think that like uh, centralized central banks are going to be successful at, um, you know, effectively enforcing surveillance coins on a blockchain down our throats. Uh, but I do probably think that there's going to be like market driven dollars like we see with Tether and USDC mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And like most like it most likely if that activity is in demand in the short term, it'll be on lightning. Like I, yeah. I think that, uh, you know, you already see that that stuff goes towards the cheapest things with network effects. So it's yeah. on Tron yeah. right now. Like yeah. if, if we're competing with Tron, like, you know, I'd be dismayed if, if Lightning can't, um, can't outcompete. Hey, well, what do you of think is, is the most noteworthy development now then of, of the Lightning Network? So, I mean, like I, when you're talking, I know you talk to a lot of actual builders on, on Lightning and developers. <laughs> Go on, use like, cases. <laughs> I'm probably one of the worst people here, but I'm like a big, I'm a big thinker. Uh, I, I like yeah. to think of like the implications um, I like to think of like what does scale look like, um, mm-hmm. and I think two things really get me excited. Number one is again like this network effect uh, building and and the network itself being built out, despite the fact that Bitcoin as a monetary asset is not incentivized for any sort of spending or commerce. It's it's actually like has it, it, it's disincentivized. Uh, you know, it's disincentivized for that. So I think that that is really, really exciting. Just like seeing this network continue to get built out. Uh, mm. and, and I think that it's only going to continue like getting built out faster and more aggressively um, as as it continues to feed on itself. And then I think the other thing is uh, like lightning native primitives like these like you like Nick Batia talking about the time value of money being able to get established on lightning seeing things like lightning loop i know that uh a lot of the developments that are happening from c lightning are also adding more monetization uh you know uh possibilities and different ways in order to like create these like lightning native uh finance finance uh products or or uh or instruments um and it's it's really fascinating to see because it's very different from like ethereum based defi which i would argue is like skeuomorphic like this is actually new like this yeah, is yeah. actually it's like it doesn't look like what the fiat system looks like this is something that's native to how lightning and bitcoin works uh so yeah. again i'm i'm not an expert well, but you know <laughs> seeing that kind of stuff gets really gets me really excited uh, yeah. we see a lot of use cases in uh, these uh, these couple of months and there will definitely be uh, emerging more um, and for global uh, uh, adoption, I think, uh, yeah, it gets a, a real lot, uh, no corners into Lightning and Bitcoin. I think that's very important. 
Um, and let's um, enter a topic uh, about Lightning and Bitcoin Amsterdam. Uh, Steph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, how, we how, want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, we obviously, uh, well, we already already talked uh, that it is at the Western Gasfabriek. Great venue again. But how did you guys come up with the idea to do another, another conference this year, but now in Europe? You know, so there was always a lot of feedback that uh, people wish that Bitcoin 23 or, or sorry, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin conference was international. Uh, the, the U.S. has been a difficult place to travel to since COVID, um, especially for uh, for, you know, yeah. f- foreigners who don't who don't want to get vaccinated. Uh, it's very, very difficult. Uh, and there was a lot of outcry and demand from Europe. Um, we also just have a lot of roots, especially with Aaron Van Wordham in Amsterdam and yeah. in the Netherlands. Uh, and, you know, it just all the things fell into place. Uh, people were excited about it. Our CEO was excited about it. Um, and something that, you know, is a little bit more of just a cool story. But, you know, we started Bitcoin 2019 uh, kind of like being inspired by Bitcoin 2013 in San Jose, which is like a very uh, prominent OG conference that was very early in Bitcoin's, you know, pro- in Bitcoin's history. And, you know, the very next year, a very big conference happened in Amsterdam, which was Bitcoin Amsterdam 2014. Um, so I think that it is very fitting that, you know, if we were to take an event out of the US and bring it to uh, yeah. Europe, that it should be uh, Amsterdam, because that is, you know, that's the next place that a Bitcoin conference went to. Uh, so I think that that is is, is a little poetic, um, and then of course you know <laughs> we just have we just have the connections with Aaron with with Shores, uh, yeah. you know it's been amazing getting to meet you all, um, and we've been getting to meet a lot of other amazing Dutch Bitcoiners. Uh, I know that the Amsterdam meetup is one of the most epic uh, in the world, if not the most epic in the world. So um, it, it's just a perfect place for a uh, a Bitcoin conference. It sure, really will be. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, as we said earlier, the developments within Lightning space are going on a very rapid pace. And within one year, Lightning and its multiple use cases uh, run through multiple generations and generations are so, there's so much ha- happening. Will there also be a Lightning stage at the conference? Uh, and can, if so, can, I, can, I pay my, yeah. can I pay for my beer with Lightning? Please, please. <laughs> yeah, no, very absolutely. important for Steph. Absolutely. <laughs> no, so I, I can talk about some stuff. So. First and yeah. foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to Ibex. Ibex is going to be enabling all of the Lightning activations at Bitcoin Amsterdam. Uh, they are one of the coolest uh, Lightning and just Bitcoin infrastructure companies out there. Uh, they've hit the world by storm, you know, first with a huge deal with Starbucks in El Salvador, and they've been a huge part of Lightning and Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador. And then secondly, they have just been so active in the space and they have uh, really been an amazing partner to us, both with giving us ideas of what we can do that's really cool at the event, but enabling a lot of these lightning experiences. So um, I got to give a huge shout out to Ibex. Um, but I actually had our team uh, send me out, uh, you know, just kind of a list of things that they're working on. So lightning beer tap, so automated beer tap, that's lightning cool. enabled. We've seen that ah, before. That's nice. Yeah, we've seen We're also going to be s- selling prepaid Bitcoin <laughs> NFC cards that will pay lightning via NFC. So I think that's a little bit more of an awesome. experimental one. So that's really cool. Yep. Um, so we're going to have a proof of work area um, too, where uh, there's a stationary bike uh, and attendees can ride and earn Bitcoin programmatically, <laughs> depending cool. on how long they stay on the bike. And uh, and how many calories they burn. And, you know, they'll just stream sats via lightning to you from the bike. So that's another cool activation. Can I bring uh, my own have... bike or? <laughs> no, no, this is a stationary bike. And it, and yeah, it's, it's like, you know, you, you, you uh, like charge because, up. Because yeah. I, I, yeah. Have, I have an electric bike, right? So I can I can keep a bicycle, bicycle forever, right? So <laughs> you, you, you might be cheating there, Steph. But, you know, bike from home to, uh, to the venue, lock it up, come and then come jump on the electric bike, earn some sats via lightning. Uh, so that's a cool one. Also powered by Ibex and Lightning Network. Um, they're working on it, you know, just a audio vid- video stream that you turn on the stream by paying, uh, sats over lightning. Uh, and here's a cool one too: tipping speakers. So I'm not sure exactly how they're going to ah, yeah. do it, but cool. you know, just, you know, maybe like, I, uh, there's like a QR code above a speaker, something or else. With, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, maybe with course. mesh, but, yeah. um, 
you know, maybe as a speaker speaking, you know, attendees live and yeah. uh, and uh, virtually can can tip the speaker. So uh, those are just some ideas, you know, very early on so that I know that they're yeah. planning even more than that. But it's really cool to just take the the lightning integration, the Bitcoin integration uh, that we're doing at the conference to the next level. That that makes it very in interactive and that's uh, that's a huge uh, change yeah, yeah yeah cool man yeah the I, same for podcasting 2.0 so uh, i really like that yeah yeah, yeah. and, oh, uh, and you i said didn't even e mention podcasting 2.0 as being one of the most bullish <laughs> things about lightning too but yeah. uh, <laughs> right you know programmable yeah. money it's amazing <laughs> That's yeah, right. really amazing. Yeah, yeah, and you can choose who uh, uh, gets a share. It's it's uh, great. And you were talking about Ibex Mercado that um, we uh, also uh, have connections with uh, Jose Limus. And um, uh, yeah, I uh, agree with you. It did a great job there at uh, El Salvador. So perhaps we uh, we just um, are going to talk with him uh, uh, soon. In that would be nice. Episodes. Yeah, 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 indeed. Hopefully, y'all uh, can uh, can meet up with him in Amsterdam as well. That of would course. be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and can, can we expect the whole conference to be um, Bitcoin Lightning only? So, so uh, we have to leave our fiat wallet at home, right? Um, you know, honestly, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure if it'll be no fiat accepted, but okay. it will be 100% Bitcoin and Lightning enabled. Right. Um, I, I actually have to check in on that. Uh, we have tossed around the idea of kind of banning fiat altogether um, at different events, uh, but we haven't uh, locked in on it. I'll tell you this, uh, in the US, it's illegal to ban uh, payment in really? cash. So you have to accept oh, payment in okay. cash, but you do not have to pay accept payment in credit card. So I think it would oh, be pretty badass to say, hey, yeah. no credit cards, only Bitcoin or yeah. because we or legally cash. have to at cash. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, I think yeah. that would be that'd be really cool for an event in the US. And honestly, I'm just not super familiar uh, if there's any cash laws uh, in in the Netherlands or in the in Europe. You know, and, and uh, but are, are you or is is Bitcoin Magazine planning to uh, making the conference a recurring thing in Amsterdam or maybe Europe? Um, or and if in Europe, what will be the possible next city then? So we are absolutely bringing this conference every year in Europe. That is our goal. I mean, obviously, this is a first year event. It's a new experience for us. So. Um, it's difficult to fully commit until we pull this one off. But our intention is to bring this event in Europe. And then, you know, who knows the city? You know, I think obviously if this is successful in Amsterdam, it'll be difficult to say no to Amsterdam again. But um, it's it's just too early to tell. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, you know, less than two months until Bitcoin Amsterdam, it's going to be an amazing time. And uh, and, you know, soon I think we'll be having some various discussions about how we can do this again in Europe and, and where specifically. Cool. I'm, nice. I'm sure we yeah, will yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, blast off everyone away with our hospitality here in uh, in Holland. <laughs> so I think this, yeah, we make a big chance to uh, to be a re recurring thing. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, I love Bitcoin Amsterdam. I am so excited for it, and I I love the Netherlands. I've I've been to the Netherlands a couple times, and every time is amazing. Cool. I hear the TikTok and I just uh, saw uh, one question that I really wanted to ask. Uh, we had Herman Vivier from Bitcoin Ekazi uh, from South Africa in our show, episode 12, was it? And uh, he wrote an interesting article on Bitcoin Magazine, so you must have known it, about how Bitcoin offers an opportunity for society to move towards systems uh, of clear and easy understanding rules. And he states, and I quote, clearly rulers end up ruling according to their own best interest and not in the interest of keeping the game fair. We have to move towards a system of rules instead of rulers. Do you think that Bitcoin will fix everything? And if so, in what way? Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> Bitcoin fixes a lot of things. Um, who knows the problems of the new Bitcoin world, but it, I just don't think it's going to be fiat money. So um, I think that you know, with Bitcoin, we have a world where anyone on earth, maybe people beyond earth, who knows, uh, can reliably tap into the best money in history, sound money uh, and unstoppable payments. That's going to change a lot of things. Uh, it's going to change everything. Will it fix everything? I'm very hopeful it's going to make a better world. But obviously, you know, it's difficult to tell what the future holds. And I'm sure that there'll of be course. problems in the Bitcoin world as well. 
Yeah, yeah, so. that's absolutely right. We will over, overcome them. Well, we had a lot of more questions, but perhaps uh, if you want to be on the show another time, uh, that will be really great. And then we can uh, ask a couple of more questions. Hey, anytime, gentlemen. <laughs> really appreciate Thanks, it. Excited man. to meet you all in person very soon. Yeah, yeah, we, we will. We will drink a beer. Hey, we, yeah, we, yeah. we have one with lightning. Um, with lightning, paid with lightning. Yes, yeah. sir. I'll um, buy you beer with lightning. Yeah, we, yeah. we have um, one question left uh, from Jared Nusenov from Mesh. You yeah. guys uh, know each other. Um, we asked uh, Jared to come up with a question for you. Edward will play the audio file and then you may answer it. How do you best get people who aren't really into Bitcoin just yet? to engage with all of your amazing content, articles, and experiences to help them become Bitcoiners, uh, given that the name in the magazine starts with Bitcoin that might throw them off first. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I've definitely sent people articles and people are like, oh no, this is biased because it says Bitcoin magazine. But luckily, all of our articles are also published on NASDAQ. So I'm, I, I have that uh. as a cheat. I'll send them the NASDAQ <laughs> link. I'll read the whole article uh, nice. and <laughs> yeah. may, may or may not actually connect the dots. That's actually Bitcoin Magazine. But honestly, the print Bitcoin Magazine is an amazing orange pill. Um, with the print Bitcoin Magazine, it's so nice. It's so professional. It's so beautiful. It's so high quality. It's like the best business card you can hand someone. So you hand them the, the magazine. They look through it. They realize that, wow so much care went into this like this is kind of badass like this is cypherpunk like there's culture here like there's bitcoin's deep yeah. and then all of a sudden they're like what the heck Bit what, bitcoin's deep what is this <laughs> like i need to like look into that more and then you know that's usually a really good way to to get people past that hump yeah. but also the nasdaq articles so any bitcoin <laughs> magazine nice articles trick. also a nasdaq article yeah so that really all is those a people nice who trick, yeah. judge a book by its cover you, you know who i'm talking about you know we got something <laughs> for you yeah, i will no. remember that yeah 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 well the book of jesse berger was also a, a real nice one i think to to really have those um in, in a normal way um explain it easy and I think, well, uh, with the Nasdaq link, uh, yeah, 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 I will uh, remember that. Well, next time we have a new guest and his name is uh, Bastien uh, Tenturier. Uh, he's the VP of Engineering of Async and we want him also uh, to answer a question of you. Do you have a question for him? Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> Bastien, I want to know, how do you think of the long-term implications of Lightning Network incentives on the underlying uh, mechanism, game theory of the Bitcoin blockchain. A lot of people have talked about how it can disrupt the game theory of the Bitcoin blockchain. I want to hear from someone who's building on Lightning, who is thinking deeply about this, how Lightning and Bitcoin's blockchain work together and how that plays out in the long term for him, for you. Nice. I think there's, be no, better, next there's week. no better person to ask, uh, right? I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, uh, Christian. Yeah. We, we had a blast, Thanks. man. I really, uh, really love your energy. And, really uh, was amazing. Can't uh, wait to meet you. Yeah, really real looking life. forward to, uh, to drink a beer with you in, uh, in yeah, Amsterdam. Indeed. So, Lightning powered beer, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Nothing better. And on, <laughs> honestly, Heineken is best in the Netherlands. Like, it's, there's something about it, it just tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> if you taste it there. Yeah, that's correct. They add a little something green uh, in Amsterdam, <laughs> right? So you have to be careful, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and um, yeah, obviously, I think all, all of our listeners and viewers will know you, uh, already know you. But for the ones who don't, where can people follow you? Where, where can people find you? Can you share your Twitter? Maybe uh, share some links uh, to Bitcoin Amsterdam or something? Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. I'm on Twitter at CK underscore snarks. Uh, and I will be in Amsterdam for Bitcoin Amsterdam. You can get your tickets at b.tc forward slash conference forward slash Amsterdam or just Google Bitcoin Amsterdam. Uh, get, yeah, we have Whale Pass, which is our VIP ticket. That's going to be an amazing upscale experience with a great party and amazing networking, as well as access to speakers and other VIPs. Uh, and then we have our GA ticket, uh, and you can just have the full Amsterdam experience, five different stages, uh, the Bitcoin conference magic, 
but with a deep, deep focus on Europe and Dutch Bitcoiners and everything that's kind of happening on the ground in Europe. And I can just, you know, I, I, I've been pushing this, but I really do think that Europe is in desperate need of Bitcoin. And I think that Bitcoin is good for Europe in many ways, both for individuals and as uh, and as a uh, as a union and as individual countries. Bitcoin is good for Europe. I think there's no better place for people to interact with the Bitcoin community in person than at a Bitcoin event. Bitcoin Amsterdam is going to be the biggest in Europe, but there's a lot that's going on across Europe uh, throughout yeah. the summer and the fall. So I just really encourage uh, Europeans. Orange pill, your fellow Europeans make a stand for Bitcoin. I think there's a lot of attacks on Bitcoin that are coming from Europe and it's an attack on yeah. Bitcoiners. So, um, you know, there's no better place to uh, learn about Bitcoin, get orange pilled, you know, show the world that Bitcoin is real uh, than going to a Bitcoin conference. And yeah, Bitcoin Amsterdam, excited for it. Nice. Great. Nice, man. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, uh, thanks uh, for listening and thanks to all members participating in the Satoshi Radio Rings of Fire. And of course, thanks uh, to everyone uh, helping us to connect the world um, together. And if you like our content, please support us uh, in our mission. Uh, visit our website, connecttheworld.live, uh, where you can donate uh, and subscribe, like and share our content on your favorite platform or podcasting 2.0. We need you to complete our mission, connect the world. Uh, so keep those notes running, uh, sets flowing and rings burning. And see you all next week with Bastien Tenturier uh, on this same lightning channel. <laughs> Namaste, Christian. Arrivederci. <laughs> Adios. Adios.